Good morning, Hank. It's actually a secret reunion video. Nobody would have guessed. I don't think anyone was confused. Our soap keeps selling out as soon as, as, soon like, as we make it. It's very good. It's re it's game changing. I've leveled up my soap game so much yeah. that all the things I was doing to the bath to try to make oh. my skin feel better turn out to be unnecessary. There's Willow who taught me how to pack socks today. Do you know how long it's been since we asked someone to like or subscribe? <laughs> the weird thing is, we used to. We do oh, all the time. It's not that I'm I above it. I completely it. forgot. I, I literally that lifestyle. forgot to do it yeah. for the last seven years. We've been between three and four million subscribers <laughs> for, for about 12 <laughs> years. So this time I've decided to actually get some real questions from real nerd fighters. John, this person asks, have I ever considered being a comedian? I feel like you should oh. if you haven't. Hank has considered being a comedian. I've considered every one of the jobs that you shouldn't try. I just desperately want to do everything once. I'll tell you what, I've seen Hank bomb before, not in comedy, but in music, but yeah. really bomb. It was comedy music, but <laughs> not that anyone was listening. Nobody, nobody found it funny, because nobody <laughs> heard anything you said. I think you would be a good comedian, but I think it would take you like 15 years to get I'd have really to good. Get good. Yeah. It takes it takes 15 years for everybody to get really good. Yeah, all these young comedians who are popular now yeah. started when they were like 12. Yeah, like Bo Burnham, like of course he's funny when he's 30. Yeah. He started when he was 6. Oh, he's very good. But unfortunately also so tall and handsome. But also intensely troubled, which I dodged. Mm. But you got to have that too. Yeah, thank you. I don't know that you totally dodged intensely troubled. I think that it might be a kind of, be. might be a sort of late set intensely troubled. You know, like, like some people jogging, looking over my shoulder. Some people get it at there. two, like I did, and some people get it at forty-three. You are historically less troubled than really anyone I, I, I wouldn't say anyone I know, but anyone I really adore. Yeah. Um, but you've been a little more troubled of late. Uh, yeah. I don't totally know what's going on. <laughs> have you heard the phrase bon vivant? Sure, of course, an enjoyer of life. I recently was exposed to that phrase for the first time. You'd never heard the phrase bon vivant? Oh, maybe I'd heard it, but I didn't know what it was. And you realize that you are yourself a bon vivant? Uh, aspiring to Oh, words. okay. You want, that's what you want to be when you grow up. I would like to have all of the parts of worry that are good Yeah. without the worry. I need to have worried. Yes. But I don't want to be worried. It's asking a lot of verb tenses, buddy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that <laughs> they line up that way. I'll tell you one thing about bon vivant, though. Yeah. Or Is it a bad word? I would have said no. <laughs> In France, is it bad? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. But I usually associate it with somebody who, like, loves gluttony and eating and drinking. Mm. Like, that's so not you. But I think we should think of it as just a good life or somebody who's trying to have a good life in every possible way. I like that definition a lot. Ashley wants to know what my current favorite hyperfixation is. I have have one. What is it? I can't tell you. Oh. It's a secret. Because I'm going to turn it into a project. Do I know it? Yeah. I send them to you regularly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite musical, and if so, what is it? Of all time? Shrek 2. Well, okay. I mean, if that's going to be how we're going to define musicals, I guess for me it's Penguins of Madagascar. <laughs> what do you put in first, cereal or milk, and why? You can't ask John this question because he's going to talk to you about water and cereal. Yeah, you put the cereal in, and then you go over to the refrigerator, and you push the water button, and the water comes cold. out. Cold. The cold water. That's great for you. And I, you get the cornflakes. Perfect. On your vivant. I'm bonding my vivant. On three, Hank, what's your favorite baseball team? One, two, three, the Missoula Paddleheads. We went to a Missoula Paddleheads game yesterday. It was wildly enjoyable. It was. They won. The pitcher did a great job, and he had an ear. He yeah, had six strikeouts in the first two innings. We thought that we might be in for a historic performance where he struck out every battery face, but then when he didn't, I did kind of lose interest in the game. I was like, well... <laughs> it was very interesting yeah. when he kept getting strikeouts. Yeah, he struck out the first six guys, and they were all like... What is it like watching your brother have to go to meetings for all the companies you run? It's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of like, ha ha ha, have a good time in the meetings. And it's I, a little bit like, oh God. I've come to appreciate the meetings, I really have. I thought the question would surely be, What's it like watching your brother have to go through something even worse than meetings? Sometimes he does such a good job, not just with, with the internet, but with us too, of like being like, oh, it's not that bad, but it is, it, it really is that bad. The wild thing is that it's kind of, like I would describe it exactly how people described it to me in terms of like what chemo feels like. Right. But that doesn't mean that I knew what I was gonna feel like. It is, it's super stressful. In addition to being scary and sad and frustrating and Unpleasant. And we are not going to add a butt to that sound. If we did add a butt, it would be this butt, the butt of a corgi. Because if I thank you to the UPS team. They're doing great work. I pick mean, up and drop off. They, they, they came and went so fast. So fast. Very impressive. 
<laughs> okay, can we tell that story real quick? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, tell the story. I went to uh, In-N-Out Burger the other day, and a very nice young man was like, are you who I think you are? And I said, yes. And he said, man, I just want you to know that, you know, my family and I are praying for you, and uh, I really, you know, hope you pull through. I didn't know what to say, because I, I wanted to take that. I wanted to, I wanted to honor that person's well wishes, you know? I said, thank you. And I retold this story to Hank, and the first thing he said was, Stolen Valor! It was mine! All right, John, I'll see you next week.